Alright, hey guys, so we're going to start coding today. Uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is create some models for our database. Um, so we're just going to make some Mongo models. I'm going to make two directories here. Um, so where am I? Uh, what is this? LS. There we go. Um, so I'm going to make two directories inside of source. So make directory source. One called models, and the other one called uh, types. So let's see. So inside of models is where we're gonna add our um, mongoose schema types. Yeah, they're called schemas. So I'm gonna start using the suffixes that Nest.js and Angular likes to use a lot. So. Uh, I'm just going to cd into models, so cd source models, and we're just going to make a couple of files. So the first one is going to be user.schema.ts, then next we're going to use product.schema.ts, and then finally order.schema.ts. And let's start with user since I believe the other two depend on this. So import everything as mongoose from mongoose. And export cards user schema. Ugh, excuse me. Alright. <clears throat> um so nothing too new if you've done like a mean stack or a mern stack before. We're just going to make an, a mongoose schema type. It's new mongoose.schema. And then inside it, we're going to define the, the object type. And for users, I've, we have name, which is going to be a string. It's also important to note here we're using the JavaScript native types, not the TypeScript types. Um, I don't know if you can use, get away with the TypeScript types, but I'm not gonna, not gonna try it, or I'm not gonna risk it, so we'll, we'll see what happens. So, yeah, user, sorry, name, password, and we're also gonna have a seller attribute, which is a type boolean, but we open up the object so then we could provide a default. And the default is going to be false. So when a user registers, they're automatically a buyer, but they're not a seller. And that's what this property is used for. And then finally, we're going to need address because this is a e-commerce website. So uh, we're going to need addresses. Um, let's see. So addresses are usually in this format. So uh, address one, address two. Both are both strings. The second one is the optional one for things like apartments. Uh, city, state, and country. Pretty normal stuff. And then of course the zip code, which is gonna be a number instead of a string, where everything else is a string. And then finally, it's good to have a created date. So we're going to do that. So this is type date. And because it's a created date, the default is going to be date.now. All right, so that's our user schema. And then we're going to do the same thing for product and order. I'm going to just open both of them up so that we can do it. So the first one we're going to define is product. Import star as mongoose. Export cons, and this is the product schema. New mongoose dot schema dot. Oops, not that. There we go. And in here, 
we need a owner, which is a type user. And to do that in Mongo or Mongo, no, Mongoose, you get the, I always forget, Mongoose.schema.types.object ID. And also reference the um, the other schema, which is named user. I really don't like these tooltips. All right, um, and then the product always needs a title and description. So string, string, and because it's e-commerce, it would be good to provide a image. Um, I haven't really thought about this quite yet, but I guess I'm going to do file uploading in this series. But in either case, it's going to be either a absolute path, a relative path, or a URL. So, in the end of the day, what's stored in the database is a string. And then, finally, price, and then create a date. So, create a date is type date. And default of data now. And then finally, we're gonna define the order schema. And the order schema is what's gonna unify the the other two schemas together. Uh, basically, a, a join relationship, so that both the user or both the buyer and the seller is aware of the products being sold. So. Once again, the normal boilerplate as Mongoose from Mongoose. Export cons order schema. New. Can you do this? No, okay. No, alright, fine. I'll type it out. And the order schema is looks like this. So it also has the owner, except this time instead of the seller, this is the user or the buyer. But in both cases, it is a oh my god, go away. Um, it is a type uh, user. So mongoose dot schema dot types the object ID, and the object ID is. Uh, the Mongo DB Mongo database IDs for each of these documents, and the ref here is once again user. And do, 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 do. so the next thing we want is total price. We're also gonna open this up. So type is gonna be number, of course, but we're gonna provide the default value, default of zero. And then, lastly, we have products, which is going to be an array of objects. And each object is a product. So, product. And of course, let's open this up and give it a type of mongoose.schema.types.objectid with a ref of product I don't like these <laughs> all right um, and then of course quantity to signify how much we buy once again it's gonna be a number but we're opening up the object to give it a default value of zero and da, 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 da. The closing would be here and then finally just a created date uh, for some sanity in the database. So we type date and default of data now. All right. So all that is out of the way. We have all of our schemas in order. But obviously, because we want to be strongly typed, uh, we're gonna need to make types for all of these, since we can't reference the schema directly, since that's not what is being produced from, like to and from the Mongo database. So we're gonna make three more files, except this time in the types directory. 
So cd dot dot slash types. And this one, I'm not going to add the suffixes because uh, I think types should be pretty pure in a sense. So we're going to make um, user dot ts product dot ts and order dot ts. And let's all right, let's go about one by one. I'm gonna open up user, and then I'm also gonna open up the user schema. So I'll put it over here for reference. Uh, yeah, hopefully that's enough space. All right, uh, import from mongoose. So this time we're gonna import um, a type from mongoose, and we're gonna import the document type. Which is actually the the type of record that is being saved into MongoDB, and we're gonna export an interface. Um, I'm gonna name it user, and it inherits from document. Okay, so name, and this time we're gonna use the TypeScript types. So lowercase string password it's also lowercase string uh, for password I'm gonna make it read only um, because we want I don't know I just passwords should be private in a sense so that's what I'm gonna do seller is gonna be bo a boolean and address is gonna be another uh, interface um, I don't think we're going to be reusing it anywhere, so I'm just going to define it in here and not export it. So, idea one is a string, string, two is a string, I can't spell today, uh, city is a string, state, string, country, string, and zip is a number. And then after address, we have the created date, which is a date. OK. So if we close this user schema, and we have enough space to, for it to look pretty. And this is what I wrote for the users. And now we're going to do the same for products and orders. Uh, products comes first. Put this on this side. Oops. Import not star. Uh, document from mongoose. Export interface. Uh, product extends documents. Order this time we're gonna import user <coughs> and I use uh, auto imports so make sure you clean up your imports on top uh, title is a string description image price and created is a date Okay, cool. And then finally, order. Okay. Import. All right. Export interface order extends documents. And owner is a user. Total price, number. Products is it's going to be a product, which we're going to input. But it's also going to be an array, so an array of products. And... Da -da 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 -da. Actually, it's its own thing, so 
Let's see. So this is actually going to be interface product order, which is going to have two properties. Product, product, and quantity, which is the number. And here it's going to be a product order array. And then finally created is going to be of a date. And also uh, make sure that you're inheriting from document everywhere because this is what's going to um, give us the ability to see all the other attributes that Mongoose gives us. So um, if we take a peek, uh, should, I know that it gives us the ID, but let's see what else. Uh, we have a lot of functions, so that's kind of good, I guess. We have the version on each um, thing. And let's see, Mongoose documents. I know there's an ID on one of these. Well, anyways, if you're, mo if you're interested, you just uh, look through this. There's some interesting stuff. Also, it's a good place to check um, because I know that some I have uh, rewrote some of these functions and I didn't know what was going on. So uh, don't rewrite these functions. Basically, is the is the moral of the story. All right. Um, yeah. In the next video, we're gonna make some controllers and actually test out our API, but. Uh, this is the models for now, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.